Hey guys, Stay Patient here with a guide for the roadkill trophy and achievement from Overwatch. This is yet another one requiring a quad kill with an ultimate because as the description says, you need to kill four enemies with a single use of Junkrat's Rip Tire in quick or competitive play. The Rip Tire ultimate, triggered of course with the triangle button, does a lot of damage in a small area, so if you can explode it amongst a group of enemies and there is no Reinhardt protecting them, then you're going to get a bunch of kills. The only issues are, first of all, finding four enemies grouped together, and secondly, successfully getting the tire into position without it being destroyed. Of course, if you have a Widowmaker or a Hanzo on your team, then they'll occasionally be showing up at least some of the enemy positions so that you can see them through walls. Something else you can do, though, is predict where the enemies are likely to be based on where your teammates are. Here are some examples. Let's say for instance you're defending a point or a payload and you notice that very few of your allies, maybe even none of them, are at the objective because they've all recently been killed. Well in that situation the enemies will usually all be gathered at the objective themselves taking advantage of the brief lack of opposition while your team respawns. So the perfect time for you to strike. If you're on attack and trying to take the final point on a small map and you notice a lot of your teammates dying around the objective area, then that probably means that once again the enemies are gathered there creating a last line of defence. Another ideal opportunity for a multi-kill. Once you've found a group of enemies bunched together, you need to be able to reach them with the tyre without giving them the opportunity to destroy it, because if they do then it won't blow up at all. You can steer the tyre of course and you have 10 seconds to drive it around and find a good place to explode it using the R2 button. A good way of approaching enemies with the tyre without them spotting you is by getting up high and dropping down onto them. And you don't necessarily need Junkrat to be up high for this technique to work because the tyre can jump if you press the jump button but can also climb obstacles if you hold the button down. You'll see in this clip recorded in the training area that it can't climb tall multi-storey buildings, but if we try and get on top of that same building again by first climbing to the roof of the lower one next to it and jumping across, you'll get an idea of how you can traverse the environment to get above the enemies. It also shows you what kind of height obstacles it can climb and which ones it can't. Another option for taking the enemy by surprise with the tyre is by approaching them from behind and from very close to where they're gathered, which is what I did during this clip. If you can get in close to an objective they're defending while staying in cover, they'll hear the tyre but will expect it to be coming from the direction of your team's spawn and even if they do notice it, it will be on them before they can do anything about it. So just remember these key points. Try and predict the enemy's locations based on where your teammates are and where they're getting killed. Try and either drop down on the enemies by climbing obstacles and low buildings, or by having Junkrat up above the objective to begin with, or simply trigger your ultimate around the corner from the enemies to take them by surprise and hit them before they can destroy the tyre. Oh and of course, as with all the multi-kill trophies, having a Zarya with you to pull the enemies together with her ultimate would make life even easier. I hope this advice is helpful to you guys, as always thanks for watching and for all the feedback, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll keep working on the Zenyatta trophies to hopefully be able to bring you a guide soon. Cheers everyone, catch you later.